Hello, everyone. I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey, and you're watching Hit the Streets. They say that crime will rise to the level a community will tolerate. In Brevard County, we have zero tolerance for crime. These are the stories. So welcome back to Hit the Streets. And folks, tonight's episode has everything you've always wanted to see. Drugs being taken off our streets, car chases, and bad people that do bad things taking the ride to jail. Tonight we held our initial briefing at our West Precinct, and then we hit the streets with our first case taking place on Catalina Drive in Coco after Deputy Kyle Shuck and Agent Sean Hannigan observed a gray Dodge Charger following a vehicle too closely. As Shuck and Hannigan attempted to stop the vehicle, it pulled into a driveway, at which time all three occupants of the vehicle exited the car as they were being approached by our team members. Hey, just get back in the car, man. Just a traffic stop. Okay, have a seat. Just have a seat. Have a, have a seat. Hey, we're stopping you because you were falling, you were tailgating the car coming down Bucky Bomb. You were right on their bumper, and you got to leave more space when you're behind the car. Do you have your driver's license? After Shug and Hannigan observed marijuana in plain view and could smell the effects of burnt marijuana, they conducted a search of the occupants and found Julian Chalk, who was seated in the front passenger seat, to have two separate baggies hidden in his crotch. You got a bag in there. Huh? You got a bag right there. Go ahead and hang The baggies contain more marijuana and two pills that were subsequently identified as amphetamines, a Schedule II controlled substance. As you might imagine, Chalk was taken into custody and transported to Brevard County Jail on a total bond of $2,000 for possession of a controlled substance. Now let's check in on Deputy Hyden Irizarry and Agent Megan Lane over on Peachtree Street in Cocoa, where they're conducting a traffic stop on a black four-door sedan with dark window tint. As Izzy and Agent Lane approached the vehicle, they observed that the passenger, Antonio Phillips, was not wearing a seatbelt. K-9 Deputy Craig Carson and his dog Grace arrived at the scene and conducted a free air sniff around the vehicle that resulted in a positive alert for narcotics. A subsequent search of the passenger area produced a small red bag that contained a loaded 38 revolver and also additional rounds of 38 caliber ammo that were all immediately accessible to Phillips right underneath his seat. The driver of the vehicle actually held a valid concealed carry permit, but advised our team members that the weapon was not hers. Further investigation by agents at the scene revealed that Phillips was a convicted felon for strong arm robbery out of South Carolina. Phillips was taken into custody for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon and was transported to Brevard County Jail on a no bond status. Next up, agents Ezra Dominguez and Adam Weimer put the habeas grabius on Freddie Thomas, who they observed over on Peachtree Street while helping out Izzy and Megan. Thomas had an active warrant for failure to appear, referenced early resolution for possession of a controlled substance. Thanks to the quick work of our agents, Thomas got a free ride to the Brevard County Jail where he was held on a $10,000 bond. Okay, folks, it's time for another episode of Mama, There Goes That Man. As Shuck and Hannigan get busy trying to stop a white and color sedan for multiple traffic violations, and boy, do things take off. Ran the red, eastbound on the lake. All right, eastbound lake, almost struck my patrol vehicle. Got out of state tag, 200. All right, country lane, country lane, northbound, almost in the port. Come on out. Foot pursuit, foot pursuit. We know him. Smart Parker. Hey, hey. On the ground, on the ground. On the ground. 
All right, we got somebody in the driver's seat. He's going to flee again. Black male, white shirt. All right, the other driver's fleeing. Black male, white shirt. We got Jamari Parker in custody. He's coming out to Lake. Georgia Tag. Sorry, he's running northbound on Edinburgh. Black male, white shirt, black pants. Come on, son, come on, son. Uh, looks like it's going to be south. All right, he, he's parallel in the house. Looks like he's coming out to you now. Turn around, run the other direction behind 309 Edinburgh. Well, as you saw in the videos, all three of the vehicle occupants were captured by our team thanks to the help of our great aviation unit star and great coordination by our team members during the pursuit. The initial driver of the vehicle that bailed on foot was captured by Shuck and identified as Jamari Parker, who was taken into custody and transported to Brevard County Jail on a total bond of $16,500 for fleeing and attempting to elude, driving while license suspended, and also reckless driving. The passenger who bailed and ran into the woods like a little scaredy cat, he ended up being a juvenile, you know, a little junior varsity gangster that was caught by our deputies and found to be in possession of approximately 7.4 grams of a substance that field tested positive as MDMA. The little fellow was charged with possession of controlled substance and resisting without violence and was left at the daycare in the care and custody of the juvenile detention center. And the final driver of the vehicle that didn't realize he was being followed by a helicopter Yep, he was a juvenile too, and he got a notice to appear for fleeing and attempting to elude, as well as a citation for operating a vehicle without a license. When are they going to learn that this is not one of those counties where we don't chase bad guys? If you run from us, you're going to get run down, tackled if you keep running, or maybe even bitten by one of our dogs if you keep resisting. Folks, this is Brevard County, and if you run, you're only going to jail tired. Well, with that case behind us, let's see what Deputy Dalton Farrington and Agent Tyler Toman are up to as they stop a black sedan on West King Street in Coco for the driver, Jerome Jones, not wearing a seatbelt. Hello. I'm but a mechanic here working with Carl. Uh, oh, man. Uh, this is hey, the business hey, that I hey, own. Hey, oh, this is hey, who I am. Hey, chill. I'm pulling you over because you ain't wearing a seatbelt. You got your license, registration, proof insurance. Sir. You got it. Oh, mate, I film you. you that's, a, fu that's fine. You ain't got no seat. You ain't got yeah, no seatbelt on. My man. Okay, oh. that's fine. You got your license, registration, proof insurance. Oh, my God. Jesus, I know what I'm up against. Lord, come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. You got to end this. I know what I'm up against. I, I know. Spiritual. Spiritual. Brother, you wrong. I'm so cold. My other, my work truck. Hey, brother, hey. Bro, I'm you asking wrong. for your license and registration. Bro, you ain't wearing I, your... I'm getting, I'm fit. Come on, man. You on it. My man, come on, man. My man, you saw me just came out of advance. I didn't have time. You didn't you have your right. on. Okay, you, you didn't have your seatbelt on. Give, you... me your li give me your license, registration, proof of insurance. I'm asking you again. M my man, look. Thank I'll... you. Thank you. Hey, and then you just said that and snatched me and stuff. Let me get the registration. Man, you got the dogs passing up my car. What did I do? Put your hands on your back. What did I do? What is he? Drop your stuff. What am I He's doing? On probation. You don't have a license. So. I don't have probation. I'm not on no probation. Now, here's a simple rule to always apply when getting stopped by the police and driving on a suspended DL. No matter how much you hem and haw or try to stall, your driver's license is still going to be suspended when we run it through the computer. Just hand it over and let it go from there, as trying to stall only makes it worse. 
In this case, Jones' driver's license had been suspended for months, and he also had nine prior guilty convictions for driving while license suspended. The good news is that our jail van transport driver, Deputy Zach Sornberger, has a valid driver's license, so he was kind enough to give Jones a ride to jail on a $2,000 bond for driving while life suspended with knowledge. Okay, folks, let's check in on K-9 Deputy Adam Steerwald, or my main man Skinny, as I like to call him, as he conducts a traffic stop near Michigan Avenue and Clear Lake Road in Cocoa. Upon approaching the vehicle, our team members could smell burnt marijuana coming from inside the car, so things went from there. Can I do me a favor, go ahead and step out of the car based on the odor of cannabis. You can shut it off. Step back here. The reason why I'm stopping is for your tent, but when you roll your windows down, good lord. Stand right there. While a search of the vehicle did not reveal anything of evidentiary value, a search of the passenger, Von Travius Jones by Agent Spinelli, produced two pills that were concealed in his wallet. The pills were identified through drugs.com as oxycodone, so Jones was taken into custody and later transported to Brevard County Jail on a total bond of $2,000 for possession of a controlled substance. Well, here we go again, as even though we just heard from them a few minutes ago, Farrington and Toman are back at it again as they conduct another traffic stop, this time near Michigan and Cocoa Boulevard in Cocoa. All right, go ahead and step out for me. You can see it. You can six, six, go. Thanks, car. Here on the floor. While standing near the driver's side door, Deputy Farrington observed a fully loaded Ruger 5.7 handgun laying on the floorboard where both Farrington and Toman had observed the driver, Equan Adams, reaching. Adams was taken into custody on a $2,000 bond and transported to Brevard County Jail for carrying a concealed firearm as he did not possess a concealed carry permit. Now let's head over to Clear Lake Road in Cocoa and see what Izzy and Agent Megan Lane are up to as they step out on a traffic stop. K-9 Deputy Tyler Haybart used his K-9 Colt to conduct a free air sniff of the vehicle. Izzy and Lane found an orange handbag that Aubrey Barrera, the passenger, admitted to possessing. A search of the handbag revealed a glass pipe that field tested positive for the presence of meth. Barrera was determined to be on felony probation for possession of a controlled substance, so she was taken into custody on possession of drug paraphernalia and also an on-site probation violation. Barrera was transported to Brevard County Jail on a no-bond status as a result of the probation violation. The driver of the vehicle was issued a notice to appear for driving while license suspended and given a court date with mandatory court appearance. Now, are you ready for this? Episode 3 for the night of Mama! There goes that man. And I'll be darned if Shuck and Hannigan aren't at it again. Samantha the Bates, exit the vehicle. This time they're over on Courtney Parkway in Merritt Island as Agent Hannigan recognized Samantha DeBates from our agency pass on as being the suspect in a previous fleeing and eluding law enforcement case. A search of the vehicle in DeBates' purse revealed that she was in possession of a small bag that contained a substance that field tested positive as meth and a second bag that contained a substance that field tested positive for fentanyl. DeBates was taken into custody and transported to the Brevard County Jail on a total bond of $6,500 for the warrant for fleeing and attempting to elude, and two counts of possession of a controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia. So unfortunately, it's time for our last case of the night, and it's a great one to end the evening with, as K-9 Deputy Steerwald is trying to catch up to a black Dodge Charger that earlier in the evening had fled from several of our units. Since the driver and vehicle had fled from us earlier, Skinny got star positioned overhead and let them take the lead. All right, looks like we're gonna head back into Blake Street, heading south on Blake, coming up to Stone, passing Stone, still southbound. Okay, so we've got Blake, past Stone, heading back towards uh, like G Street and all that again. Hold on a second, I have a bailout. Hold on. What's the street going? Call it out, buddy. Barbara Jenkins, he's bailed. He's bailed. He's on foot. Okay, he bailed out, guys. He bailed out right there. He's on Stone. Sorry, this radio's not working. I need somebody. What's that next street right there, Joe? Temple, Temple Street, get on Temple. He's still running. All right, he's on the sidewalk. He's, he's on the walking. Sidewalk, Temple. walking like there's nothing going on. Right there, that unit is pulling. It's going to be right on your driver's side door. That guy right there. That's him. That's him. Right there. 
Guys, on black or white, I can't tell you, but that's the guy that came out of that car. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Oh, I'm on the ground, bro! So as it would turn out, Jamal Warwick was taken into custody on a $4,000 bond for fleeing with disregard to safety of persons and property as he was running from the popo and putting everyone else in the world at risk because he is a habitual traffic offender and was driving while life suspended with knowledge. Another perfect example of people not understanding what happens if you run from us in Brevard County, either on foot or in a vehicle. Folks, let there be no doubt. If you run from us, we are going to track you down and take your sorry butt to jail. It's really just that simple. Well, that's our show for tonight. And as you can see, the hit team had a great night out on our streets, keeping our citizens safe. I could not be more proud of the amazing men and women of our agency for all they do each and every day to protect our citizens. Just a quick reminder, if you're a criminal and you're thinking about committing a crime, you may want to check Google Maps and make sure you're not in Brevard County. Because if you are, you may want to go ahead and get a bondsman on speed dial. Brevard County, where we have zero, and I do mean zero tolerance for crime. See you next time on Hit the Streets.